So, uh, anybody remember a few weeks back there was uh, some leaked leaked footage of Tucker Carlson at Fox News? Leaked footage of Tucker Carlson uh, shitting on Fox Nation streaming service. Well, Tucker Carlson Fox News hacks tied to an FBI search of a Tampa council member's home. The search at city council member Lynn Hurtak and Tim Burke's home was part of a probe into computer hacks at Fox News. This comes from the Tampa Bay Times. Cheers to Sangland86 in the chat. I shall piss up a rope. An FBI search earlier this month at the home of media consultant Tim Burke and his wife, city council member Lynn Hurtak, stemmed from an investigation of alleged computer intrusions and intercepted communications at Fox News Network, the Tampa Bay Times has learned. The Times obtained a letter Thursday that a Tampa federal prosecutor sent to Fox News, which describes an ongoing criminal probe into computer hacks at the company, including unaired video from Tucker Carlson's show. The former primetime host was dropped by the network in April. The letter does not mention Burke, but the Times confirmed with two people close to the investigation that the matter relates to the May 8th search at his Seminole Heights home. The Times contacted Burke on Thursday evening and read him parts of the letter. Burke said he would have to ask his legal team if he could make a statement in response. On Friday morning, he said he could not comment. Hertak previously said in a statement that the search appeared to be solely related to her husband's work as a journalist. Burke's attorney, Mark Raish, told the Times on Friday afternoon that the legal team has yet to see the FBI's affidavit in support of the warrant. Raish is a former federal computer crimes prosecutor who is representing Burke, along with Tampa defense lawyer Michael Maddox. Raish is a frequent expert commentator for Fox, as well as CNN and NBC. Wow, it's all incestuous, isn't it? U.S. Uh, Assistant U.S. Attorney Jay Trezevant wrote the letter asking that Fox News preserve information and records related to the investigation for a period of at least 90 days. The government views the network, quote, as one of the potential victim witnesses of the alleged criminal conduct, Trezevant wrote. The investigation, according to the letter, concerns allegations of unauthorized computer access, interception of wire oral electronic communication, conspiracy, and other federal crimes. Trezevant is assigned to the criminal probe and is listed on court filings related to the search at Burke and Hurtak's home. William Daniels, a spokesperson for the U.S. Attorney's Office in Tampa, said he had not seen the letter and the office would not comment on an ongoing investigation. Typical. Typical. The government's not going to comment. Burke has not been accused of any wrongdoing. A nationally recognized media figure, he runs Burke Communications, a media and political consultant company. Oh yeah, because uh, cause if you're not aware... Politics and media are the same fucking thing nowadays. It's so incestuous. That produces an array of content. He's also worked for the online news outlets Deadspin and Daily Beast and is a member of Job Sites Theater's board of directors. He managed his wife's recent successful campaign to the Tampa City Council. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I don't care about his history. Burke's business website has been offline since the day of the search. A prolific Twitter user, he's not also not posted any tweets. The hacked material, the letter states, relates to a story published by Vice News under the heading Watch the Disturbing Kanye Interview Clips That Tucker Carlson Didn't Put on Air and a video series titled Fox Leaks published by Media Matters, a left-leaning watchdog. Links to the six clips published by Vice News are included in a footnote to the letter. The letter specifically notes that Vice and Media Matters are not accused of wrongdoing. Yeah, nobody's accused of wrongdoing. The videos just disappeared from Fox and appeared on Media Matters, but nobody in between did anything wrong. 
Hmm. Yes, FBI. Oh, FBI. Fuck me harder. The investigation instead concerns illegal conduct by, quote, other subjects. The letter states, those subjects are not Fox employees or affiliates, according to the letter. Media Matters and Fox News declined to comment the story. Carlson, who lives in Boca Grande, could not be reached. Vice News had not responded by publishing time. Yeah, nobody, everybody's staying quiet. The leaked videos published by Vice News include unaired portions of Tucker Carlson's two-part interview with Ye. The rapper known as Kanye West makes disturbing statements about Jewish people. The videos published by Media Matters include behind-the-scenes footage from Fox News, from Tucker Carlson's Fox News shows that appear to show the conservative pundit talking candidly during commercial breaks and before segments. In one of the videos obtained by Media Matters, people working on Carlson's show appeared to discuss such leaks, noting that they'd happened despite taking security precautions. Carlson has previously accused Fox News of purposefully leaking his private communications. Law enforcement officials typically try to obtain... What the hell? Is this just... Someone at the Tampa Bay Times is literally just commenting on the Fourth Amendment and, and law enforcement. Like, these two old two paragraphs is just... Yeah, the Fourth Amendment exists, and cops try to take care of the Fourth Amendment. Or I'm not going to be reading this word for word here. When a judge authorizes the search warrant, does not necessarily mean a criminal charge is forthcoming. Okay, who cares? Who cares? Documents name Burke and describe his home as the place to be searched for computers and other evidence of alleged crimes that occurred after August 1st, 2022. The significance of the date is unclear. Agents log more than 20 items, including iPhones, laptops, personal computers, computer towers, and external storage devices and notebooks. The judge declined to rule immediately on the Times' request to unseal the affidavit, writing that the government must articulate a specific compelling interest to justify keeping it sealed. In a written request filed with the U.S. District Court on Thursday to keep the affidavit sealed, the prosecutor described the document as lengthy and detailed. It contains information about people who could become subjects of the investigation, references to potential witnesses and victims, and other details that, if made public, could be used to undermine and hobble the United States' legitimate, significant investigative efforts. <laughs> oh. The prosecutor also noted that events described in the affidavit showcase an investigation that may, if properly safeguarded, extend well beyond the specific facts and the de events described therein. The document remains subject of on ongoing litigation. So... We can't release the document because it may hinder future investigations because we were so specific in our Fourth Amendment requirement to list the persons and things to be seized. That we just unloaded our whole case in the affidavit. And if you buy that for a dollar then I've got oceanfront property to sell you in Arizona. Jesus. So, why? Why search these people's home? You know, what does Tim Burke know about Fox News? You know, this just goes to show Democrats will do just about anything to gain the slightest political upper hand. I mean, all this is is just some fap fighting with Media Matters and Vice because they think Tucker Carlson is icky. And you have the FBI raiding this home, taking all, essentially all computer, internet-based or data storage electronics, and doing what? 
have those items been returned? The FBI is not going to comment. It's an ongoing investigation. And Fox isn't commenting because they're embarrassed. And you know media matters. They, they're not going to give up their source. So here you have a clusterfuck, an orgy of First Amendment and Fourth Amendment excuses not to give up who was corrupt in this situation. Meanwhile, Tucker Carlson, if I was Tucker Carlson, I'd be pissed. I definitely hope Tucker Carlson makes a video about this. I hope he talks about this. I hope he has questions for Mr. Burke. We'll see in the coming days. We'll see what happens on Twitter in the coming days.